Hi there, in this video we're going to look at downloading and installing CentOS onto VMware Workstation. Um, so let's just get straight stuck into it. So the first thing you want to do is Google for CentOS. When you find it there, click download. Click the DVD ISO and you should see a list. So select the one that's nearest to you and start that download. Now I've already downloaded mine one previously, yours will probably take a few minutes to download. So just let it do its thing and let it download and let me get VMware Workstation up here for us now. Okay, perfect. So hopefully now your CentOS uh, ISO has downloaded okay for you. It's one I've done previously, but what I'm gonna do is go file and click new virtual machine. So when you have that, I recommend just clicking typical and click next. Now what you need to do is browse to where you actually downloaded that ISO file. So I know I have mine on my desktop here. So let me just go in here and there we go. Sent us, click open. Hopefully now, yeah, VMware picked that up for us that it sent us. So we click next, I'm gonna call it my sent us server. It doesn't matter what you call it, call it whatever you like. Click next. Um, 20 is fine if you're just doing this as a kind of test. If you're planning on using this with something you might want to increase it, I'm gonna leave it as 20. Split, into vir split virtual disk into multiple files is absolutely fine as well. Click next. So what I usually do now is customize the hardware just before, before I begin, so I'm gonna click that. So memory, I'm gonna up this to two gigs just to give it a little extra oomph. It will depend on your laptop if you have it. Gonna leave it at one processor, CD's fine, NAT network's fine. We can leave it at the rest of that and click close and then click finish. Okay, so now let's just wait for this to appear and we will now power on that virtual machine. So we'll just give it a second here to do what it's doing. I'll just pause the video again for a minute. Okay, perfect, we're back. So. What you need to do is click in to your uh, virtual machine and click up and click install CentOS Linux 7 and click enter. Okay, so now it's going to start prompting us to go through the through the installation process. So press enter to begin. Okay, so now we can see it's kicking off here now. Just an important thing to know, if you need to come out of your VMware window, click Control and Alt together, and you'll see your cursor has been released. So I'm just gonna extend this out so you get a better view of what's happening here. Let's close this as well for us. And then I'll click back in. So you can see now it's just pottering through a few bits and pieces that it needs to do. I think what I'll do is I'll pause it here while that's going through its bits and pieces so I'm not wasting anyone's time. So hang on here. Okay, we're back here. Hopefully you've got this far as well. So just select the language that is uh, applicable to your, earlier, to your area, excuse me. So I'm here in Ireland, so I'm gonna click Ireland and click continue. Okay, so now you're gonna see a screen like this. So a lot of this stuff now will be uh, pre-selected for you. So I'm in Europe, Dublin, that's perfect. Keyboard's gonna be fine. It's gonna be English, Ireland. One thing to watch out for is the software selection here. Many, many times I've accidentally installed a minimal install, which is absolutely uh, no use for the majority of stuff that I will want to do. So I'm just going to come down and use a GNOME desktop, which will give us uh, some nice GUI that we can look at. Depending on what you need to do, you can select some of these other things. There's usually a web server, file and print server, that kind of thing. So I'll just click done here. We'll just give that a second. And now we're going to look at our partitioning. So we can see this 20 gig disks here, disk here that we selected. And I'm gonna leave it as that and leave it as automatic um, partitioning and click done here. So now we can see we're getting the option to begin the install. So I am going to click that now. So now you're gonna see, you're gonna be prompted to create a root password. So root password is somewhat similar to say your main administrator in Windows world. So I'm going to set a password here. So if you want to do the same on your machine. 
as this is a test system I'm not too worried the password is weak but it's only on test and you can see here CentOS will actually kind of give out to you saying you know this isn't a strong password I'm just going to click done here anyway again if this was a live system I'd be making sure I have a more secure password so I'm going to create myself as a as a user so full name Darren username Darren and again password Again, this is given out that my password's a bit weak, but again, this is only a test system, so not going to worry. I'm going to make myself an administrator so I can run administrative functions on this machine, and I'm going to click done. Okay, so now that that's done, we just need to wait for the um, for VM for CentOS to finish installing on VMware. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pause the video again, and just we'll come back when it's nearly done. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully yours don't take as long to install as mine. My internet connection was a little bit slow, but once you're ready, all you need to do is click reboot here and your CentOS machine will start to reboot. So what I'll do is I'll pause my video here again and we'll pick it back up once it's rebooted. Okay, so we can now see we're here at our first boot screen. So just click license information and if you accept the license and then just click done and then when you're ready just click finish configuration the machine now will continue to boot so what i'll do is i'll just pause here again while this does okay so you should now see your login screen log in with the password that you set click sign in and you should hopefully now see your centos GUI booting up for you. This might take a second. And here we are now. We're in, and that's it. You've installed CentOS.